Hello there, this is Rom Wills coming back at you with yet another podcast. Being a high-value man doesn't satisfy a woman in the bedroom. <laughs> and that was just the title just to get past the initial censors on here. Actually, if I was going to be raw about it, I would say being, a, being, having, being having some money ain't going to make a holler. <laughs> Look, man, I just wanted to be clear about that because if y'all follow me on Patreon, y'all know I'm getting more into the sexual dynamics and sexual satisfaction. And that's usually what a lot of men miss out on when they're dealing with a woman, right? Because, you know, some dudes think, okay, if I make all this money and get this status, I'll get some women, right? Yeah, you know what? And you're going to you're going to get some women, especially if you get some money and some status and you go into different clubs or different social circles, you will get a better class of women. But see, here's the, here's here's where it gets messed up at. When you go back to your place, yeah, it might be some nice condo, man, mini mansion, I don't know, the Taj motherfucking hall, right? It might be any of that. You still got to make a holler. Like, you, once you get those clothes off, y'all butt naked, you shoot all that don't mean anything. Women don't be sitting there like, oh, wow, you know what? He got a trust fund and stuff, and she hollering. Now, they can fake at that money, which a lot of them do. They can fake big time, but, you know, when you get in the bedroom and stuff, shoot, you got to make them holler. You got to be dominant, Right? And that's an important consideration. Now, let me be abundantly clear because we always have some slow folks who can't, you know, they'll say, well, are you saying don't make money? I ain't saying nothing about that. As capitalistic as I am. But as I've said, and I've said it several times, you want to make money. <laughs> that's why I got a business channel. Check out the video I got on the vis- uh, yeah, the video I have on the uh, business channel today. But you making money so you can have control over your life. You ain't making money to, to get women. Right. You ain't making money to specifically get women. Now, you can make money to put yourself in a better position, to have more options, but you really making the money for yourself. All right. You making the money for yourself and even, um, you know, so you can live the way you want to live. And even in situations where a woman might have some attraction because you have that money. Guess what? Clothes come off. You still got to make her scream because if you don't, boom, what happened? Now, I know a lot of men concerned, you know, I talk about sexual faces, women cheating and all of that. Who do you think get cheated on the most? It ain't Pookie and Ray Ray. (laughs) It ain't Pookie and Ray Ray. It'd be some guys making money. And, you know, just to be clear, I I just know. I know. And I know because, shoot, I've had the women tell me. They have some men, they paying all the bills. They in a big mansion, but they shoot. They get around some, like, studly type of dudes, some dudes who spit in that hot fire. All of a sudden, they getting a little wet. They getting a little wet. In fact, that's a fun game I like to play, like, because usually I, I prefer eating by myself if I go out or something. And I just be sitting there chilling, like, looking at my phone, doing whatever. I be just looking around at somebody, a family or a husband and wife together, and a wife looking over at me. And I'm just, and I'm looking at dude like, he look like he got money. Yeah, because a lot of times, see, what happens is dudes focus too much just on the money. And that's good, but then you got to be well-rounded. My thing is, my whole thing is, you want to be kicking ass on all levels. You know, when I was coming up learning the game, it was about being that thorough dude, right? The thorough dude, basically being like Ghost from um, um, that TV show Power. Because what that dude had he, had, he definitely had some thug in him. He definitely uh, was tearing it up in the bedroom. He, he had money and everything. And shoot, he even had some strategy. He was a thinker. That's the type of man that, like, fascinates a woman. But see, what's happening is some dudes just get maybe one out of the whatever. Like, in this case, I'm talking about, like, they focus on the money, Right? And but they think this will answer all the other questions. And you know, I just got off the phone with a young lady, and I just uh, we were talking about that, right? We were talking about that. Now, different women. One thing she pointed out, she said, you know, different women. They, you know, they'll still hang out with them and all of that. But then, you know, I challenged the young lady. I said, well, 
All right, so what if he bringing all that money, but he only lasts in two minutes? She couldn't really answer that question. <laughs> That's where the question became a hypothetical then, right? I was like, okay, all right. Yeah, if she listening, she know I love her because we like talking shit to each other. But, nah, but look, understand that. Understand that because I, th- I see too many guys. And the reason why I'm even bringing this up, it's not even like, the, definitely not to say don't make the money and... You know, or to discourage you, but just to understand your motivation. Too many guys, they out here not really on their purpose, not really trying to do something with their lives, just on behalf of women. They saying, well, I'm going to make all this money. I'm going to get into this profession I don't like just so I can get the women, right? And I'm like, that's the wrong attitude to have. Because even if you get what well, look look at it like this. If you get them, what, what they really attracted to? They ain't attracted to your essence. That means you got to keep that money up. So you better hope whatever market you in, whatever business you in, you better hope you better hope that something don't change it. You better hope it's one of those businesses that is not affected by automation. Real talk. Real talk. You know? Don't focus on that one part. You got to you got to be all the way around, and especially in the bedroom. Let me let me focus on that. Let me just focus on that one piece. Because that's where a lot of guys losing out. They can't figure it out. But the woman looking at the dude like, oh, well, is he going to bring it? And that's not necessarily the case just because you have money. I'm going to tell you something now. I know a lot more or I got knowledge of a lot more things I nece- I, uh, that I don't necessarily share it on here. You know, one, because, you know, some stuff... You know, I prefer to make money with the videos and, you know, some stuff I get demonetized if I get too deep into it. And, you know, I'll probably save it for my Patreon or something. But there's, oh, there's a, you know, we, of course, everybody's heard of BDMSM and whatnot, right? But there's a whole lot of these CEOs, rich money making men, they paying, they paying some woman to get them all sexually to do something to them sexually, whip their ass, dominate them, pee on them, whatever. Right. So you seen anything to do running shit, but he ain't, you know, because the whole thing is the and I've said and I said this in a recent video and it applies to men and women. What somebody show uh, to the public ain't necessarily what they show behind closed doors. Right. So if you're going to be up there, you want to make some money. You still got to bring it in the bedroom. You still got to be dominant in the bedroom. You still got to make her holler. And I really mean holler. Don't think if you, you know. Because one thing I haven't experienced, I haven't experienced or known of a woman that had an orgasm because you recited your bank statement to her. You know. And I know some dudes say, well, this woman did this or that. Um, I need to look up the stuff I talked about acculturated prostitutes. Now, I would hope y'all really don't want that. Maybe some dudes do, but remember that. When you get a woman who is going off too much on uh, on that, you better look for that acculturated prostitution thing. You know? And also give an Academy Award because she's probably an actress. So, like, to summarize everything, just so we clear, go make that money. But do it for yourself. Don't do it for a woman. There's other skills, other traits and stuff. That true that attract a good woman. If you want to attract a, a an acceptable hoe, that's on you. That's on you, fam. If you want to deal with it, just as long as you know what you're dealing with, don't catch feelings. You know, she put that little snap on you. Don't be like, oh man, I'm gonna marry this woman. Nah, bruh. Nah, because if you marry and stuff, you better make sure that uh, prenup is ironclad. But I know some women they'll put it on you. You won't. You won't even think to do a prenup. She put that like you got got you going kaka 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 kaka. Shit, you be like, baby, I trust you. You don't have to sign a prenup. And then she like cha ching. Then she, you know what? This is what it happened too. She'll uh, mess with you a few years. She'll mess with you for a few years. Get that money. Get that lifestyle. But you'll find that you probably have to. You be thinking, man, I need to get her some Tylenol. She keep having headaches. She'll find every reason not to do anything with you. And then, you know, she'll be like, well, you know what? I can't deal with this anymore, you know? And then she'll get, like, a significant portion of that money you worked hard for, you know, to be high value. 
Then she'd be in uh she'd be in the islands in Jamaica. Got one of those Jamaican bad men like busting nuts on her uh over and whatnot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know how it goes. <laughs> I know Ron be too raw on here sometimes. It's like I be holding back on here though. Y'all should hear me when I'm out in public. Anyway, that's it for today, y'all. Something to think about. Talk to you later. Peace and blessings. <laughs>